growing up, I, I, my, my musical education really started off with um, taking piano lessons when I was when I was just a little kid, and uh, you know most people, most most kids, you know, like their parents would force them into like taking lessons and all kinds of stuff, and I don't agree with that at all because music is music's the type of thing like if you don't want to do it, like don't do it because it's like such a powerful thing. Like if you're like doing it for the wrong reasons, like do not do it, you know? And, and so with myself, like even when I was like six years old, I would listen to like my dad, my dad's favorite band has always been the Carpenters and he's always loved like John Denver and like all kinds of like just, you know, old sixties music. And, and so that's what I grew up with. And so it was always like a passion of mine to like do it, you know? So I, I talked my parents into taking, taking piano lessons. And so, you know, I took lessons until I was like 13 or 14 and then, um, started teaching myself guitar and then started just like writing music growing up. And, and so I started off young and just kind of, you know, like experimenting with different things. And yeah. Um, I think one of the biggest moments, um, so far has been, um, playing a show in, you know, I've always, I've always wanted to go to Asia. And so, um, got a chance to go to Tokyo just recently. And so I, I would say that's, that was one of the biggest moments so far as just like, you know, playing in front of, playing in front of an audience in Tokyo and, and, uh, they were just, you know, so receptive and, and just, you know, being, being like going to places you've never been and, and having people there when like the curtain opens and, and you know it's like just pretty surreal you know like i i think like when i first started watching the grammys was was when i was a little kid and and uh i think just like the overall experience of like seeing like seeing these people that you know i guess like there's been multiple underdogs over the years and like multiple like people that you would just expect to win and all kinds of stuff and i you know i think the whole overall like environment of the grammys is just very interesting you know because it's like some people like you can tell the surprise in their face like when when they win and some people just like oh i expected it so i think just like the whole underdog thing like it's you know i i think i think it's really cool you know like when people like genuinely don't expect it you know um this tattoo i got this this be still tattoo in boston um on on one of the tours and it's it's um you know i i tend to i think a lot of i think a lot of people do but i tend to have like a very overactive mind that's just always like you know it's always moving and I'm trying to like slow it down but it's always just kind of like you know it, like to to the point where it's just like it like drives me crazy like it, it actually like literally like someone's driving drives me crazy so I wanted to get some kind of like reminder for myself to just like be still you know like just like calm calm down so yeah I got this tattoo in Boston and mm -hmm. that's why Hey, I'm Trevor Powers, also known as Youth Lagoon, and you're with the Grammys at South by Southwest. <laughs> 